Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on quadratic functions. We'll take up examples based on applications. So economics is the main application for this particular video. The question here is, determine break-even quantities for each profit function where x is the number sold in thousands. Now, what is break-even? So when we say break even quantities, we mean profit is zero. So remember this, break even means no profit, no loss. Or we can say profit is equal to zero. Right? So that is break even. So once you understand that, uh, the question becomes very simple, right? So it is finding roots of this equation. Perfect. So we have two profit functions. Let's begin with the very first one. 0 equals to minus 2x squared plus 18x minus 40. You can actually pause the video and uh, solve it yourself and then look, check my solution. Okay. So why did we put 0? Since we want break even quantities, right? So at break even, Profit is zero. That is why we are substituting zero. This is to find break even point. Is it okay? Right. So now we can use uh, factoring or even quadratic formula. This is easy factoring. So we'll just factor out minus two first. So we get x squared, change the signs. So we have minus 9x plus 20. Now let's look for product of 20, sum of minus 9. So product of 20 and sum of minus 9, how do you get? So 10 times 2, 4 times 5, 4 times 5 work, right? Both negative, right? Both negative. So we could write this as x minus 4 times x minus 5. So this function has break-even point for x equals to 4 or even x equals to 5. So both. Since the units are in thousands, right, so the break-even quantities will be in thousands. So therefore, our answer here is that the quantities for break-even can be 4,000 numbers and 5,000 numbers. Is it okay? So that is how you can solve this question. Now let's do the second part of it. You can easily solve it. You can pause the video and answer and then check with my solution, right? So at break even, profit is zero. So we'll equate this to zero. We have x squared plus 12x plus 28. Now 7 times 4 is 28. 14 times 2 is 28. We are looking for minus 28, right? I actually prefer to take minus outside and rewrite my equation. I always want this coefficient to be positive, right? So we'll rewrite and write this as minus 28. I know for some this is an extra step, but it always helps. So we found that 12, uh, 14 and 2 are the right numbers. So 14 and, and 2 will give us the... Uh, write numbers here so so what we get here is x minus bigger number is negative 14 times x plus 2 right so when you multiply, you get negative 28, and when you add, you get minus 12. So that gives you two solutions. One is x is equal to 14. The other one is x equals to negative 2. Now, in these quantities being sold, we know in such cases, x should be greater than or equal to 0, right? Rather, greater than 0. So that is not valid. So the only answer valid is 14. And therefore, our answer here is 14,000 is the break-even 
quantity. Correct? So that is how I could solve this question. I'll provide you a link for revenue and demand functions that will kind of complete this chapter on application of quality functions uh, with economics in mind. Thanks for watching and all the best.